Hello everyone and welcome to another video and today, well this video, I'm back over at Nented for two nights and I'm meeting some lads from Wales, um, this is all their tents here but they're underground at the minute and I've come a day late. Right so we're just about to go in the mine, this is how many people are actually here today and there's a i'll put all the links to every channel on the description because no, i have no bro. idea all right then watch your channel called <laughs> no, 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 abandoned, no, 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 no. abandoned and forgotten worlds <laughs> mines and man caves mines and man caves okay. and then oral explorer yeah or explorer, explorer. Oh, 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 oh. and then <laughs> underground explorer uk and oh, overground underground so we're gonna get in there now I know we've been in this mine many times, but um, these lads haven't been in, so I'm just going to show them around. So I think we're going to the back of the mine today, or as far back as we can. Um, seeing a couple of artifacts. Look at these. I think they're called spines or ribs. Can't remember. Teeth. <laughs> spines, teeth, or ribs, I've just said. Could be anything. Yeah, I haven't been underground for a while, so this is my first trip to Nenten in about five months. This is the first ore shoot that you come across. So there'll be workings above here where they drop the ore down through this. Then they would lift that out into the carts that would be here. And then obviously take them out. So this is the horse level, so this is where the horses would have been um, before they maybe had locomotives. Oh, this part here is new. So this is new, obviously put it in to stop the water build up. So this explains why the water level is so low. It's a bit loose ground here. So it's a uh, shale. It's easier to dig through shale than, it, uh, than blasting the rocks. So we're just coming up to a junction. Um, splits off into two different mines. That way it goes to scale burn. But we are gonna continue down the ramp gill vein. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Jesus. You see the workings up to there. You can see the pins holding in the roots, basically. Some of the roots, right? Look how impact it is. I guess we need to do it. <laughs> um, so so cool. Cool. Oh, like, it's pretty cool. Look at the formations on this wall. Pete? <laughs> Hello? Pete? Yeah? Where's the fourth gym? It's in scale burn, but we can get to it down there. So we're going to see it, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. Okay. We go a different way. No, no. This is a lovely section of the mine. And then there's actually a huge formation coming down from, from the top. You can still see where the tracks are under here. I'm not sure if the 
tracks are still under here. They're a bit close to the entrance, so the scrap man might have taken them. Or they might have been repurposed in a different mine. So we're just coming up to Whiskey Bottle Junction. And someone's taken all the bottles. Wow. Nightmare. And someone's taken every bottle and the sign. Uh, this way goes to Hanging Shaw. Um, I'll show you uh, a manway shaft down there, a collapsed one. I'll go down there in a second. I'll just wait for the others to catch up. So this is an old picture of Whiskey Bottle Junction with the bottles still on. So I'm just showing the lads the manway shaft or the collapsed oil hopper, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> but, um, quite impressive. It's just behind me. I found the Whoa! What did I say? Typical oil shoot. It's quite a wide one, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's a typical oil shoot. We have a partition, one side for the oil to come down. This is a nice little rise on the left. Doesn't really go too much. So we're heading this way still. Look at the colours in here. There's all the uh, manganese on the wall, that's the black. Look at the colours here. I didn't, I didn't, I forgot how colourful this mine is, you know. Yeah. Look at the palette of colours we have here. This is a nice uh, Look at all this. Manganese dripping down. Yeah. And uh, I think that's like an iron staining as well, maybe. Or ochre. Yeah, it doesn't look real, I call this Vindaloo Passage. That's Vindaloo Passage. What's that? Vindaloo Passage. Vindaloo <laughs> Passage. <laughs> Someone's had a bit of the lowness <laughs> come out of the wrong end. Yeah. <laughs> the passage. Look at that. <laughs> this part would have been really good to explore. We can't actually get up. There's ladders leading up to the workings above, but there's no way of uh, getting us to that level there. We're all bringing our own ladder. Quite a way in as well, so we wouldn't really want to be carrying a ladder. Here you can see how they've put the roof up. They've just hammered these metal stakes into the wall and then yeah. built the bridge across. <laughs> roof, sorry. What, what you do is you make um, wooden frames. And then uh, uh, we'll they go basically your support, and then you build off uh, over the frame. You add your pins, and then on the last what row, Aye. and then you remove the wooden frame. Then and then because if you look at it, like some of the shape of them, they're like cut on a triangle. They kind of went through the other. Uh, that's the sun vein, I think. Okay, I'm following this. Okay, We're following we'll follow this one. Street, yeah. And then you, yeah, you have a little big heavy stone in the middle and then that pushes down on all the rest of them. It's a very easy way of getting it. Take that off. So I think this is the engine shaft. Or what used to be the engine shaft. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah, so this used to have a wooden platform across the top, but yeah. unfortunately, it's now down there. <laughs> oh, down. I'll show you a place where I would love to get up. 
120. Just down here. Yeah. In this section here, I took a nice photograph. I'll, uh, I'll put it on the screen now. You can get up there now, though. You didn't used to be able to. It looks a bit damp, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't fancy. I've seen someone do like these frog step up lads. Right. Step up the walls and then yeah. Not built to climb like that. No. So we can basically just follow this pipe now and then we get to where we're going So this uh, right just leads to a, I think it's a dead end pretty sure and it comes out again down there on the left yeah there's a collapse down there so that's uh this goes to the other end of the collapse from the other side. You've got it if you don't that out one day and you find out it's going to go there. I like this chain. Yeah, what are all What have we got here then? So this is the Norpex door. Oh, is it? It used to have a, a manhole. Or a, so now there's the door there, like a hydraulic door. Yeah, yeah. And it used to be on there. What to stop people going in and out? Right? Yeah, I think that was done in the eighties, or maybe. So that was literally until they did that. That had been closed off until. Yeah, yeah. 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 That way just goes to. I can't remember. <laughs> and that way it goes to Skillburn. There's some sticks of dynamite. They've actually puffed up because they've been down here that long. That's what that is. Old dynamite sticks look like bananas. It's our dynamite. So we're just heading to the horse wheel. It's not too far down here. There's actually a nice chamber before we get to it as well. There's just this one here coming up. There's an old shovel on the right hand side. But this chamber here, it's lovely, it's quite large as well. We're heading down through here and there's a couple of um, detonator tins and shovels just on the left hand side and then uh, there's a shot hole scraper so that was used to scrape the shot holes before packing it with the dynamite so I'll put that there next to the shovel and the detonator tin oh there's still some fuses left as well there actually I'll stand that scraper up right so this here is the horse wheel Uh, so we just come back here because the lads from Wales haven't seen this. I'll put a little diagram on the screen to show you how this would have worked with a horse. Under here, it would have been stood up vertical, but fell off there. Came out with a hole for down there. Um, oh the my God. God. Yeah. 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 GP They're yeah, just coming up to one of my favourite sections of the mine Which is this huge Wow 
It's looking up. Wow. It's impressive this far, isn't it? That's magnificent. Great this. And then just down here we've got a huge formation. Um, be about 20 feet high. Just here. And you can actually see the water just trickling down. Yeah. You should be on the last name. <laughs> Lovely that, isn't it? Wow, absolutely. Yeah. So what we're doing now is we're just heading back to the uh, Ramsgill branch and then we're going to go towards the North Head Star and crawl through there. So I'm just walking past there and I've seen an old candle. On the wall there. Don't know whether it's an original. The wall's falling to pieces. <laughs> Does it, I don't think it's original, is it? I've never seen uh, anything other than like a melting blob of wax. Oh. 